opening night at Secrets. Please welcome Debbie McGee and Paul Daniels. Welcome to the opening night of Secrets. Yeah, and keep raising those glasses. Keep raising those glasses, because the more you drink, the better I get. All right? <laughs> See? You keep drinking, tricks like that will start to look good. Tell you, right? <laughs> oh, no, they won't. And... <laughs> I like this. This is a good one. Yeah? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, and the bartender, by the way, is German. So if you go to the bar, don't order dry martini or you get three of them. All right? <laughs> German, love, you see. Eins, zwei, dry martini. Yeah. There's always one, always sits at the front. Right. Yeah. So who's in the show tonight? It's a secret. What's in the show tonight? It's a secret. What's the first trick in the show tonight? No, it isn't. It's, um, it's a thing. <laughs> no, I just... Did you see the advert for the opening of the club? Did you see the advert? No? Didn't see the advert. Very nice. Uh, well, no, that's not it. This is traffic news. For, I know down here, you see, we travel on the M25. For those travelling on the M25, it's blocked again. Bad news, eh? You know those high-speed cameras? Yeah? Yeah, they're taking portraits and groups. <laughs> right, that's it, yeah. Oh, and that was an advert. It might interest the ladies. Um, young man wishes to meet lady with cup final ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Please send photograph of the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion news. Fella down in Bournemouth was found wandering around dressed only in newspaper. Uh, apparently he liked to dress with the times. <laughs> Listen, listen. It gets worse than this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it couldn't get worse than this? Uh, oh, that, I just found that really good. Apparently, at a dinner in the city last night, the Chancellor of the Exchequer announced the VAT is going down to 6% and down to 2% on cigarettes and on beer. Great, huh? Yeah? yeah? Income tax is coming down, and then he sang three choruses of Viva España and threw up in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, what's this one? Oh, yeah, the Ministry of Agriculture, apparently, have managed to... Su a very successful experiment. They've crossed a Jersey cow with a masochist, and they've finished up with a cow that gives cream that whips itself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's what I was looking for. There it is. It's, um, it's an advert in here, Paul Daniels presents New Miracle on television. Please be upstanding, madam. Read all about it yourself, and you can. It's magical. <laughs> this is a mirror. Now, Harry Houdini built a brick wall upon a stage, and then he walked through it. A lot later, we had uh, little me with a pile of china mugs, and I went through them. The problem with all of those things is the little cracks, you know, where the bricks join up and people think, oh, yeah. David Copperfield through the wall of China. So I had to find something that was one sheet. This highly polished metal gives a mirror effect. And a mirror effect, and if we pull this off, you'll see that it is not just a mirror. This is, in fact, the world's biggest pair of handcuffs. Now, when... Can you see? Oh, yes, you can. I'm sure you can. Excuse me. If I go here, you can see my feet under there. All right? It doesn't matter where I am. And if I go here, you can see my face through this hole and my face through this hole. Now, if I put my arms through here, like this, and then just get myself ready and we let the magic begin. There'll be more of that later, more cabaret, more fast. In the meantime, get up, have a dance, have a good time, have a drink, and we'll be back with you. Hello. Can you make me a little room? <laughs> My name is Philippe. I come from Paris. Especially for you. 
and I want to make a fair connaissance with you. What's your name? Anna. Anna. When you were a child, did you add a cuddly toy? Was it a rabbit? No. What was it? A bear. No. Me too. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> and you, you, you were, you were playing to daddies and mummies. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Papa, maman, watch. Papa, maman, maman, papa. And when we do this, papa, come next to maman. We do it one more time. I will count until 10, and at 10, papa, come next to mama. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you want to try? <laughs> She said yes. Give me your hand. <laughs> This one. You hold mama, all right? Hold it tight. Right. I take papa. Lift your thumb. When both thumbs touch each other, papa come next to... Mama. Open. <laughs> Now you take both in the other hand. Hold it tight. Tell me any number between one and five. Three. Sorry? Three. Do you want to change your mind? No. Open your hand. One, <laughs> two, three. Do you believe in ghosts? No. You are going to change your mind. Here I have a close friend of mine. His name is Arthur. In that moment he is asleep and you have to make him away. Come next to me, come close to me, all right? Up. Well, you bend over him and you say, Arthur. Arthur. Yes. Once more. Arthur. Yes. Once more. Arthur. Yes. Try with a more seductive voice. Arthur. Oh, God. <laughs> He seldom does this, you know? <laughs> Try it once more. Oh, he wants to come out. Okay, can you hold it for a while? Hold it for a while. Give me your hand. Yes, very fine. Arthur, you have to keep quiet. And now, with your forefinger, could you tickle his chin? He loves this. Is he smiling? Yeah. Of course, it's that time. Oh, yeah. Never yeah. mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, can you hold him again for a while? Okay. Thanks a lot. Very fine. Arthur, keep quiet. And now, Arthur, it's time to go to bed. In a way, in French, we say, you have to do, do, do. You lay him down. Very fine. Is it the first time? Really? And after I know him, I know that when he sleeps, he's flat. Do you think he's still there? Yeah. Call him. Arthur. You think he listen to you? <laughs> But if we switch on the lights, You see, it vanishes because it's a ghost. But some evenings, not every evening. Please say Arthur. Arthur. Here it is. <laughs> Have a nice evening and enjoy the show. Tell us, tell us, tell us. That's not the sort of role we serve with the soup.
Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that young lady is from the Chinese State Circus. Her name is Wenbo. Thank you. After <laughs> incredible. I knew she wasn't a waitress. That's for sure. <laughs> You wait to see what the other waitresses do. <laughs> okay, I need two volunteers, Debbie. Get the two volunteers, and I need them up here. Very good. So welcome aboard, sir. What's your name? Stephen. Stephen, just come over here, Stephen. And, uh, yeah, shall we dance? <laughs> All right, what's your name? John. John, nice to meet you, John. Stephen, just go, there's a chair behind there. Just bring a chair up, okay? Now, John, where are you from? Richmond. Richmond, yep. the real one. The up north one. No, no, sorry. Richmond, uh, Excuse me. One did one's training up north, you know. Good lad. Get one for yourself as well. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> right. Fun. Yes, now you just sit down there and uh, you sit down there. And what we're going to do now, this won't bother you very much for a while, okay? I want you to have a good laugh at the trick I do on him because the one I do on you is worse. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what I want you to do is, you see, you're the only one the trick will bother. To everybody else, it will not mean a thing. But to you, one ball will disappear completely. <laughs> yes, a little round paper ball. Thank you, David. Now, could you sit up straight, pretend you fit the suit, and this is a, um, a box of tissues. You hold the ends of the box like that, you get a nice, relaxed, floppy feeling, and I just put the microphone right next to you, like this, OK? Now, just testing, testing for you. Where are you from? Richmond. <laughs> yeah. You're not used to it, are you? They no, all do no. that. Richmond. <laughs> Richmond. OK, now, watch my hands. I'm going to roll up two paper, the paper balls, all right? And when I roll up the paper balls, I want you to watch them very carefully, because I'm going to count to three. Now, when I get to three, one ball will vanish. Do you understand that? Just one ball will disappear. Watch the ball. One, two. Are you all right? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> now, feet together, feet together. Now, watch the ball. Watch the ball. One, two. <laughs> it's only a chair. Look. I'm sorry, it's only a chair. Look, there's, there's, here, sit over there. Sit over there. You'll be fine. Do you know him at all? You do? Oh, are you together or something like that? <laughs> Swap chair. <laughs> You're happy? I'm fine, thank you. Paul. You're fine, okay, good. You can sit down now, you've got his chair. <laughs> Now, what I'm going to do is roll up a paper ball, OK? I'm going to count to three. I'm going to go one, two... <laughs> Whatever it is, you've caught it off him. It's nothing to do with me. Hold the back of the chair with two hands. Hold the back with two hands. Now, you sit over here, you see, because I want to do the vanishing paper ball. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to swap it for another one? We don't mind. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Um, somebody, uh, can we just have a chair? Would you mind, madam? Just let, can I borrow your chair? Yeah, you just sit down there, madam. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just sit down. <laughs> there we go. Please, sit down there. We'll pretend the handbag's not yours. Right, feet together. Don't worry about it. Uh, actually, it's... Uh, my job. she doesn't trust anybody, does she? That one <laughs> Now, there you have it, my love. We'll just tie it. Can I just tuck it right down and round there and get it all safely on there for you? Like that. Happy? Right. OK. Sorry about this. Right. Now, you are happy. It can't bother you, right? So when I go one, two, three, like that, it won't bother you at all. Very odd, is it not? What's your name, my love? Pardon? Michelle. OK. Now, Michelle, I want you to just sit down. I want you to relax. And you've got, you're happy. So it's nothing to do with the chair. In fact, sit on the chair. <laughs> this won't bother you. 
but just hold it there and there, then that bit there can't get it, that bit round there. Okay, now. <laughs> the vanishing paper ball. Watch the ball. When I go like this three times, give a big blow. So when I go like that, one, two, three, blow. Gone. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and this man's entertained us all for a very long time. Give him a big round of applause, he goes back to his seat. Off you go. I've got to go now, ladies and gentlemen. There's a singer coming on, and <laughs> while the singer's singing, if you two could be going do a be do be do be do, do. <laughs> she'll be singing when the magic is gone, and that's what you do, okay? Right. On the other hand, I could get you off. When you go off, go to the bar, have a drink on me because you got you know lumbered on this trick, okay? Uh, but you're with friends, and all of those friends will pester them for the rest of the night. But at least you'll be able to confirm that the chairs were ordinary as far as you could see. There was nothing fixed up beforehand. All right. When you go to the bar, have a drink on me. I will, thank you. Some people say that does not matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Paul. Some people offer to buy me one. I get them off the chairs, them that offer to buy me one. <laughs> oh, can I buy you a drink? Oh, oh, oh. There's not just me, there's the band will want a drink, the dancer will want a drink. I touch you on the back of the hand, your hand will fly off the chair. Try it, try it. Let's have a big round of applause for a very good sport indeed. Tremendous. <laughs> See how I got his hands off. <laughs> no, I just touched him and but your hands aren't stuck, are they? Nope. Different technique. <laughs> Keep tight hold. <laughs> no, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Here. Feet together. Watch the ball. One, two, that's it. Another big round for another great ball. Come in. <laughs> Go to the bar, have a drink. We've got a great bartender. Amazing display was, of course, by not a regular bartender. It's a guest bartender, Phil Gibbon from Planet Hollywood. <laughs> All that fuss instead of just taking it out of the bottle. Anyway, this is... now my next guest, I've got to tell you about this guy because he went to a circus when he was six and he tied up a piece of rope. <laughs> unbelievably between the apple tree and the lavatory it's true and he practiced on that and now he's got his own circus in Norway touring will you please welcome Jan Ketil <laughs>
Don't serve the coffee like that, because you'll probably spill it. See you in the club, Dylan. Yes, well, I love it. I want to come again. Yes, well, I'll just again? move that in case I've seen you. You might spit it on the jacket. <laughs> All right. Now, while you're here, right, while you're here, I'd like to show you the world's most confusing card trick, and um, I'll show you it as well if you like. Yeah. Uh, you can come a bit nearer. Now, what it is is it, it looks like it's simple because it only uses one, two, three, four cards. Look, what's that? Um, a blank card. Exactly so. What's that? Another one. Yeah. So there's nothing to remember. The faces are blank, and the th and the back. Mine isn't. I tell you. I tell you. Oh no, you're very attentive. <laughs> you're very attentive. But these are blank. And the yes. thing is, you see, I'm going to put a card here. All right. I'll put a card here, and I'm going to put this one on here. Do you believe me? Well, if you tell me, I believe I'm you everything. Put, yes. Yeah. I'm going to put this one on here. I can prove it. Look, here is a card, <laughs> right? And I'm going to put this one now on here. Are you happy with that? I am. Yes. Now, I'm going to swap it with that one. So if this one's on here and that one's there, watch. Look at that. This one's here now and that one's on here. <laughs> you, you're not impressed, are you? Not with that precise But watch move. this. <laughs> Gone back again. Now, that one's here and this one is on here. See? This one? Yeah, here. this one I is see. on I'm here. I'm simply spelling it out. You I've... knew the sort of audience I'd be. You have to spell it out. Yes, I do. That's why I've got that one over here, you see? You see that? Now I've got that one on this one, which is on here. Yes. And this is a different one altogether. That's brilliant. I told you it's before. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. You're very clever. Thank you, mate. That was really good. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed that. Do you do tricks, eh? Well, yes, Magic I can ones. do a few. Yes. In fact, I can do some predictions. Well, oh, do a prediction. Right. I can predict the score of a football match before the match even begins. What's that, then? Nil. Nil. How do you know? Well, the score's always nil-nil before the match begins. <laughs> yeah, no. I married her for her money, I'll tell you. Now then, here's a quickie, a little quickie, quicker rooney. Look at this. This rubber band is stretched between finger and thumb, see? I do. And then it goes around the stem like that. 
and it the glass is trapped in there. And for you at home as well, see, it's trapped in there. It can't move. Now watch. Boing, the glass goes right through the rubber band, which is still stretched between finger and thumb. Looks very clever. Yes, it is, Renee. Really <laughs> Now, if you and I were to talk to ourselves, we'd all be locked away. But our next act is a man, and he does it for a living. Now, isn't that amazing? He's Ron Lucas from the United States. Isn't this a great nightclub, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it look like the Sistine Chapel designed by Safeway? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> anyway, a ventriloquist is basically a person who can talk about moving his or her lips. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of that. Let's see. I'll, I'll pick something from my childhood. <sighs> Old MacDonald had a thorn, the E-I-E-I-O, and on a thorn they had a horn. <laughs> Thank you. I actually learned to do that when I was seven years old. I started ventriloquism when I was seven. And uh, I didn't get my first doll or dummy. It's okay to call them dummies if they can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> it works for my wife, too, so it's all right. Um, but, but it's okay to call them. I, I got my first, I didn't get it until I was 10 years old. For three years, I had to use my imagination. I was designing the perfect dummy for me. Now, 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 now the BBC has helped me out here. I imagined a dummy that had a head as big as I had. <laughs> Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know what to tell you. And it had a wonderful finger control, which would make the mouth open and close. Say, hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. How you doing? Isn't that great? How you doing? Oh, you guys look good. Yeah. I'm the head of the house. Okay, that's enough. I ain't got no body. Okay, all right. I think we made the point. Now, at the age of seven, I used my imagination even more than this, ladies and gentlemen. I imagined I was working in Las Vegas, and I had a wonderful Vegas costume for my friend and myself, and Jamie looked a lot like this. There we go. Let's we'll straighten your leg here. The arm straight. There we go. Okie dokie. Now sit up, Jamie. Like this? Yeah, like that. That's good. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Now, folks, this got even worse. At the age of seven, imagining that I was working in Las Vegas, I dreamed up the most risque material a seven-year-old could come up with. <laughs> hey, Ron. What, Jamie? Do you have any holes in your underwear? No. How do you get them on? <laughs> you got a cold? No, I don't have a cold. You got to drink two quarts of prune juice. Prune juice, it doesn't do anything for a theater that it makes you think twice before you sneeze. Okay, Jamie, that's enough. <laughs> hey, I was seven, what can I tell you? We can do the song now. Song? Yeah. Jamie, we don't, we don't have a song here. We do now. Go ahead, hit it, Dave, come on. Dunka, 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 dunka. What are we doing? Row, row. <laughs> I don't want to do row, row your boat with you. Too late, here we go, you start. What, you start. <clears throat> How do I do this? I'll count to four. One, two, three, four. Row, row, row your boat. Row, gently row down the row the stream. Your boat, merrily, gently, merrily down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life, merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life, row if but row a dream. Row your boat, row, gently row down the row the stream. Your boat, merrily, gently, merrily down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life, merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life, if but a dream. This gets crazier. You're very kind. This, this gets crazier. In my imagination, I dreamed that I could make Jamie stand. I dreamed that if I wanted him to, I could make him bow. Bow for everybody, Jamie. <laughs> In my imagination, I could make Jamie walk over to Debbie. Can you walk over to Debbie, Jamie? There you go. That's good. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, this nightclub is called Secrets. I'm going to let you in on a secret. In this costume is a five-year-old boy named Jamie Mayer. Would you please give him a hand? He's with Debbie. He's no dummy. <laughs> My name is Philippe Socrates, and I would like to show you a close friend of mine, Sally. She has a very nice figure, a little bit pierce-shaped, 
but her neck is very elegant. What I love in her, in her is that she takes life always with a pinch of salt. <laughs> Sally. And here I have, how do you, I don't know. It's a string. How do you call this in English? String. string. In France, oh. we say a coin. <laughs> really. That's a, so the coin is here for you, but you are responsible of Sally, right? Okay. You watch Sally and hear a coin, this coin. Would you please hold it for a while? What's happening? <laughs> Lift Sally. <laughs> Put it. Watch again. Hear a coin. We did it once. Will we never do it twice? Lift Sally. Hi. <laughs> but if you watch carefully, at one moment we put it under Sally. Do you think there is something under Sally? I don't know. Lift it up. Do you know why? It's because you didn't say Sally, s'il vous plaît. Say Sally, s'il vous plaît. Sally, s'il vous plaît. Lift it up. Mm. <laughs> Well, now she will try something impossible. I want you to give me your hand. In this hand, I will put this coin. I want you to hold it very tight, all right? Very tight, hold it tight. And Sally will steal it to you. Watch carefully. She's the only one to do this. She thinks about it. Not yet. Maybe it is a little bit too tight. Relax a little bit. Yes, very fine. Too tight. Open. Oh, no. No, you're, no, you are not fair. No, you are not fair. I trust you, you know. And you see, she breaks my props. Really. Never mind. C'est Sally, s'il vous plaît. Sally, s'il vous plaît. Lift it up. Oh, she's marvelous. I love her. Now our last trick, so you watch carefully. This coin will become very small. Watch carefully. This coin, very small, with... Oh! <laughs> Sally! I have shrunk Sally. <laughs> See the world's most amazing trick. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. This is the trick that caused more letters to come teeming into the BBC than anything else I've ever done. It's the world's most obliging kettle. Now, you might find that a little strange. You might indeed. But all you have to do is shout out any drink at all and the kettle pours it out. So, there you go. You thought you couldn't see me, didn't you? Would well, you just call out any drink? <laughs> all right. A white wine. You need a white wine glass. There's a white wine glass. I see a white wine over there. So, there you go. I'm just... There you go. One white wine, one white wine, okay. What's that? A red wine, a red wine, okay, a red wine, okay, coming out. There we are, one red wine. Would you take that? Thank you, Marlon, thank you very much. Somebody with a bit of class over there. Champagne, yes, champagne, certainly. One champagne coming out the door. Always remember that no matter what you shout, the magic kettle will provide. This is the world's most obliging kettle. Somebody shouting out over there. What's the a Bailey's? A Bailey's, certainly. You can have a bit. Mm. It's a bit thick and creamy, isn't it? It's a Bailey's. One Bailey's. Okay. Do I hear a gin and tonic anywhere? Gin and tonic, where's it? Gin and tonic. All oh, right. A gin and tonic. There's a gin and tonic. One gin and tonic. There we go. Take that away. All right. Now what have we got? We've got. Uh, are we any Methodist in? An orange juice. An orange juice. We need an orange juice. That should be good enough for an orange juice. There you go. One orange juice. All right. Have we anybody in the club over age? Throw them out. Yes. All right. Now, what have we got now? Oh, have you brought an order at all? No? No. All right. Then we'll give them a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Always remember that no matter what you shout, the magic kettle will provide. Would you take that? Thank you, Marlon. Thank you very much. There you go. Just, there you go. Okay, let's have a cherry brandy. Cherry brandy. Oh, let's see if we can get a cherry brandy. There we go. One cherry brandy. Uh, right. Snowball. Who's shouting snowball? Snowball. 
there's a snowball. There's a snowball. There's a snowball. All right. You've got yourself a snowball. Perno coming up. Well, I really don't know what we're going to get there. We'll try this one. This is um, a bottle of mine. And uh, a friend of mine. And uh, what else have we got here? We've got... Um, What's that? Oh, that's very pretty, isn't it? That's an apricot, apricot brandy. Deliver that away, OK. A scotch! Who wanted a scotch? So you wanted a scotch? A scotch? A scotch? You want the bells? You want the teachers? You do them all here. Okay. Can I have a wee scotch and dry? So wee scotch and dry. There we are. Wee scotch and dry. Have a wee scotch. There we are. Not very much, the kettle's empty. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Give that man a scotch over there. All right, that's what he wanted. And, and what else have we got? We've got uh, milk. Somebody wanted milk. This is uh, milk. Oh, OK, so we take this and get for a glass of milk. Would you take that to the gentleman over there for me, if you wouldn't mind? And now, anything else, anything else at all? A large pork. A large pork. Yeah, there we go. There's a large port. Southampton, that's a large port. Lager, four eggs. Four eggs lager. There we are. We've got everything here. Good grief. Well, we've had some customers in the club, but you lot take the biscuit when it comes to drinks, I'll tell you. Gentlemen are sitting down here. Sir, all you have to do is tell me honest, tell me loud and tell me clear. This is very, very important. This is a magic kettle. You can see round it, you can see under it, you can see it, all right? I don't know what you're going to think of drink, but I'm going to take this, all right? I'll take this, it's probably too big. But all you have to do is concentrate on the kettle, and the kettle will pour the drink. It's poured a drink, okay? Now, would you all raise your glasses? <laughs> Sir, what did you drink? What, did, what was your drink? Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. Please, uh, stand up. Stand all the way up, okay? Stand up, and tell me loud and tell me clear. What have you got? Southern Comfort. Oh! Very good. That will do for me. Go for it. and there's nothing in there. So there you go, what you do, you just take that home with the last thing that you needed for the show tomorrow night. The world's most obliging couple. That... Uh-oh, we've got a drunk in the club. Sorry. Um, oh, dear. Uh, how very embarrassing on such a... Oh, yes. Too young to handle that, obviously. Um, uh, yes. Uh, oh, dear. That's really not going to happen. Whoops. Are you going to tell me I haven't got a glass? Uh, Debbie? Yeah. Debbie? 
If you've read the small print, you're the club bouncer, you'll throw him out. Oh, yes, darling. Oi, oh, hey, Rush! Hey, you, listen. Don't you come back in this pub again, hear me? Yes, just yep. uh, deliver him back to the Chinese State Circus. Gao Cheng, ladies and gentlemen, from the Chinese State Circus. Yeah. Doing over there. So, ladies, please raise your glasses. I know what's happening. Coming down here, ladies and gentlemen, right now is a tube. Now, I know that it looks like a tube to you, and you, and you. But the reason we're playing the drums is because that's exactly what it is. As the drum comes down and down and down, uh, right? Not a drum until you take one of these. This is a skin. Take the skin. Yup, it goes on here. Okay, now we turn it round. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a drum needs two skins. This is another skin. All right. You. So good that time, Daniels. However, if we put this on here, like that, get it on good and tight. Now, clip on here. Put a clip on here. sort of present that grandparents give to kids. We're going to blindfold Debbie. Now then, we're going to close the show with a card trick. This is absolutely unbelievable. 52 different cards. But I don't want Debbie to see it, so blindfold Debbie. Now then, we blindfold Debbie. It's a big blindfold. Now what happens is this. You take these like this, OK? Now I want you to take a card. Madam, take a card. Look at the card. Now then, you've got to be loud. You've got to be loud. Debbie, name the card. 
The three of clubs. Is it the three of clubs? It isn't. Debbie, you're sacked. One, two, three. We're going to make money out of this. I hope so. Oh, yes, I do well with my money. I get 4% interest at the bank. 4%? That's all. Let me tell you that. I get 8%. How do you get 8%? I put my money in two banks. <laughs> Seems sensible to me. Hi.